by the end of this video, not only am I going to show you how the salary changes when you change the employee name, but also to change this from salary to bonus. Now, while formulas like XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP work great in these situations, the problem is that they are not dynamic. They take a lot of work if the problems are complex. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dynamically look up this information from this table right here using the index and match functions. Let's first look at the index function. As you can see here, it says the returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. This means that whatever information we want to be displayed on this cell right here, we need that information to be found from this table and displayed here. This is what the index formula does. To do this, we are going to need the array. The array is the column or columns where the answer that you need here is present. So in this case, let's say that we need either the department or the designation to be displayed in this cell. We are going to have to select the department column as well as the designation column. If you only need department, select only the department column. Type comma. Now it's going to ask you for the row number. The row number is the number on which the answer is displayed by row. So for example, the first customer support would be our row number one. The second customer support would be the row number two. The first accounts will be the row number three and so on. Let's say we need that third accounts. All we have to do is type in three. Hit comma again and now it's going to ask you for the column number. Now as you can see the column number is in square brackets which means that it is optional. We can close out the formula right here or we can select a column number. This is where the two columns comes in handy. Now if you want to display the department, we type in column one and close the bracket. It's going to give you accounts. If you want manager to be displayed for the third row, then all we have to do is change one into column number two. So now let's try this formula for this cell. What do we need displayed for this cell? We need the department, right? So type equal to select the department array, which is only this column, type comma. Now we need the row number. The row number for Michael is one. So select one and close the bracket because we don't have a second column. We don't need to select the second parameter. Hit enter and it's going to give you customer support. But here is the problem. If you change the employee name to someone else, Matthew, for example, who actually works as an accounts executive, it's still going to show you customer support because we have fixed the row number as one. It's not dynamic. Now, this is where match comes in handy. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please hit that like button. Let's start off by typing match. And you can see here now that match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So for this to get the result, you need a lookup value, a lookup array and match type. Now lookup value is what is it that you're searching for? We are looking for the name. The lookup array is where are you looking for this name? Select the name column, type comma, and now you can either select a match type or leave it blank. So match type is basically going to give you an exact match to the thing that you're searching for, which is the lookup value. In this case, it's Matthew, or you can say less than or greater than. If you're looking for something that you know is not going to match exactly. In this case, we are obviously going to have the exact match. If you leave match type blank, remember that it's always going to default to exact match. Close the bracket and now it's going to give you the number of the row in which this result is present. So Matthew is the fifth employee in this list. Select Matthew, change it to Michael. This becomes one. Select the name. Let's say Ashley. Ashley is the 12th person on this list. So now you can imagine how useful this is to incorporate into our index function. Let's copy this exact same formula and paste it into our index formula. So instead of selecting one, we're going to paste the entire match function 
which means it's going to look for the number of this person's row and then use that as the row number for our index formula. Hit enter and now you can see that it's changed to operations. You can change the names as you like and it's going to immediately populate the answer for you. Now if we just copy this formula down and change the index from department column to designation column, we are now going to have executive. Again, let's test it out. David is an operations manager. David here is an operations manager. But now let's make things interesting. If we just want the salary per month here, we know what to do. But what if we need to switch between salary per month or bonus? That makes this a whole lot more dynamic. Again, let's start with index. And now for the array, we know that we want either the salary per month column or the bonus column. So we're going to have to select both of those columns. Type comma and now for the number column, we're going to have to use the match function. Remember, this is the match function for the row number. So we have to look up the name, type comma, look up array, where are we looking for this name in the name column, type comma, zero for exact match and close the bracket. Now come in and type comma again. And now you remember the optional column number. Here is where we use a second match formula. And now in this case, what are we going to look for? We're going to look for the bonus or salary per month word. Where are we going to look this up? In the heading of these two columns. Type zero for exact match. Close the bracket and again close the bracket for the index formula. Hit enter and you can see that David has a bonus of zero. And if you look here, you can see David has zero. Now if we change the name to Michael, you're going to see that Michael has a bonus of 10%. Well and good. But now if we need to find Michael's salary, all we have to do is change it to salary per month here. And as you can see, we now have 43,000 here as well. Now let's quickly go back to David and see if David's salary is correct as well. Now click here if you want to learn more about VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and XLOOKUP or click here if you want to learn how to create drop down lists. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Excel tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.